Have you ever wondered about the mysteries that surround the remote islands in the South Pacific Ocean? Nestled in the heart of this vast expanse of blue lies the captivating archipelago known as Islas Cook. This cluster of 15 islands forms a small but significant part of the Polynesian Triangle, a region rich in culture and history. Islas Cook is a place where the sun kisses the ocean's horizon, where the sky meets the sea in an embrace that paints a mesmerizing tableau of colors. But it's not just the geographical location that makes this archipelago a fascinating subject. There's a depth to this place, a story that goes beyond the surface, a story that's as intriguing as it is enchanting. From ancient origins steeped in mystery to a past touched by European exploration and colonial influence, the chronicles of Islas Cook are waiting to be discovered. So, are you ready for an adventure? Dive with us as we explore the hidden gems of Islas Cook. The history of Islas Cook is as deep and vast as the Pacific Ocean itself. The islands didn't just spring up from the ocean floor. They were discovered, settled, and nurtured by a group of people with an extraordinary connection to the sea. These were the early Polynesians, the first settlers of the Islas Cook. Their journey to the islands was not by accident. It was a testament to their exceptional seafaring skills. Aboard their double-hulled canoes, guided by the stars, the wind, and the currents, they navigated the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. These were not just explorers, but pioneers, setting foot on the untouched archipelago and calling it home. Once they landed on the islands, they didn't just survive, they thrived. The Polynesians established a thriving community, living off the land and the sea. They cultivated the fertile soil, harvesting taro, yam, and breadfruit, they fished the surrounding waters, bringing in bountiful catches of tuna and marlin. Every resource was utilized, nothing was wasted. This was a society in harmony with nature, and in this environment they developed rich cultural traditions. Intricate tattoos told stories of lineage and bravery. Music and dance were not just entertainment, but a celebration of life and the spirits of the islands. Carvings and weavings were not mere crafts, but expressions of their deep connection with their surroundings. The Polynesians built stone marais, sacred places of worship and ceremony which stand to this day as silent witnesses to their profound spirituality. They passed down oral histories, myths, and legends that kept their culture alive through generations. They worshiped their gods, respected their elders, and cherished their children. The Polynesians were not just settlers, they were the architects of a way of life that continues to resonate in the Islas Cook. They built a society that valued community, respected nature, and celebrated life. Their legacy is not just in the physical structures they left behind, but in the spirit of the islands that continues to thrive. These early settlers laid the foundation of what Islas Cook is today. Their story is a testament to human resilience, ingenuity, and the power of community. It's a story that deserves to be told remembered, and celebrated. While Islas Cook was home to Polynesians, it was yet to be discovered by the Western world. Enter the era of European exploration, a time when seafarers voyaged into the unknown, driven by curiosity, ambition, and the desire for new territories. Among these explorers was one man whose name would forever be linked to the Islas Cook, Captain James Cook. In the mid-18th century, Captain Cook, a British explorer and Royal Navy captain, embarked on his first of three ambitious voyages. It was during his second voyage in the South Pacific, in 1773, that he first sighted the islands that would later bear his name. Cook was not the first European to set eyes on the islands. That honor goes to Spanish navigator Alvaro de Mendana, who sighted Puka Puka, one of the northern islands, in 1590. However, it was Cook's detailed mapping and documentation of the islands during his voyages that brought them to the wider attention of the Western world. Cook's arrival was a moment of profound change for the Islas Cook. He brought with him new technologies, new ideas, and unfortunately, new diseases. The island's isolation had shielded them from many of the diseases common in Europe, and the introduction of these illnesses had devastating effects on the local population. But it wasn't all bleak. Cook's voyages also opened up opportunities for trade, allowing the islands to access goods and resources 
they had previously been unable to acquire. This marked the start of a new era of intercultural exchange and economic development. Yet, the impact of Cook's arrival was complex and layered. It set the stage for the island's future interactions with the Western world, shaping their history in ways that continue to be felt today. The islands would go on to become a British protectorate in the late 19th century, a relationship that would further shape their cultural and political landscape. This marked a new chapter in the history of Islas Cook. The islands may have been discovered by the Polynesians first, but it was Cook's exploration that brought them into the global spotlight, forever changing their trajectory. With European discovery came a new era of colonial rule. This new chapter in the history of Islas Cook began with the British annexation of the islands, marking a significant period of change. The British, always seeking to extend their influence around the globe, saw the potential of these beautiful islands, and they didn't hesitate to make their move. The year was 1888. The British flag was raised, and the islands officially became a protectorate under the British Empire. This move was not without controversy. Some locals resisted the change, while others saw it as an opportunity for progress and development. Yet, there was no turning back. The islands were now part of the vast British colonial network. This new status brought about significant cultural and societal changes. The British introduced their own systems of governance, education, and economic models. English became the official language, and Christianity brought by the missionaries became the dominant religion. The local traditions and customs, while still preserved, had to coexist and adapt to this new reality. The colonial rule also led to infrastructural development. Roads were built, ports were established, and new industries were introduced. The islands, once remote and isolated, were now connected to the rest of the world. Trade flourished, bringing prosperity, but also new challenges. Yet the colonial era was not just about external changes. It was a period of internal transformation for the people of Islas Cook. They had to navigate the complexities of retaining their identity while adapting to the new order. It was a time of resilience, adaptation, and evolution. This era also set the stage for the island's eventual transition to self-governance. The seeds of independence were sown during this period as the people of Islas Cook began to assert their rights and voice their aspirations. The colonial era left a lasting impact on Islas Cook. It was a period of upheaval and change, of growth and adaptation. It shaped the islands and the people in ways that are still evident today. As we delve into the modern era of Islas Cook in our next scene, we'll see how the islands have continued to evolve while staying true to their rich heritage. From an ancient Polynesian settlement to a modern island nation, Islas Cook has come a long way. Today, the islands stand as a self-governing territory, bound in free association with New Zealand. This unique political status grants the islands a degree of autonomy while maintaining a security and diplomatic relationship with New Zealand. Being a self-governing territory has allowed Islas Cook to carve its own path in the Pacific, and the islands have done so with aplomb. They have established themselves as a prominent player in regional affairs, contributing to discussions on climate change, ocean conservation, and sustainable tourism. Yet, despite these modern advancements and involvements, the heart of Islas Cook remains firmly rooted in its traditional Polynesian culture. It's a place where the past and present seamlessly intertwine. The traditional Polynesian way of life is still very much alive and well on the islands, coexisting harmoniously with the modern world. The locals, or the Cook Islanders as they are known, are a testament to this cultural blend. They live their lives with a foot in both worlds, maintaining their traditional customs and practices while also embracing the conveniences of modernity. You'll see this in the rhythm of their daily lives, in their music, art, and even in their cuisine. The island's cultural landscape is a vibrant mosaic of traditional Polynesian dances, music, and crafts fused with contemporary influences. This fusion is also evident in the food. Traditional dishes made with local produce and seafood are served alongside modern culinary creations, resulting in a cuisine that is both familiar and excitingly new. So, whether you're exploring the bustling markets of Avarua, the island's capital, or immersing yourself in the tranquil beauty of its pristine beaches, 
you'll be experiencing a culture that is a beautiful blend of the old and the new. Isla's Cook, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of its people. This island nation with its rich history and vibrant culture stands as a shining example of how tradition and modernity can coexist, creating a unique and captivating charm that is unmistakably Cook Islands. So, what does this story of Isla's Cook tell us? It tells us of an island first inhabited by the Polynesians, who built a culture and society in harmony with the land and sea. It speaks of a place discovered by European explorers, forever changing the course of its history. We learn of colonial times, where foreign powers sought control, leaving imprints that are still evident today. Yet amidst these changes, the island never lost its spirit. It evolved, adapted, and grew, shaping its modern identity, one that proudly carries the echoes of its past while forging its own path towards the future. Today's Isla's Cook is a testament to this journey. Interweaving ancient traditions with contemporary ways of life, it's a tale of resilience, adaptation, and survival. It's a narrative that, despite its size, holds a mirror to the larger human experience of change and continuity. Isla's Cook, a small island nation with a big history, continues to fascinate and inspire us with its enduring spirit.